if you are new to this channel, my name is Sarah. I live and travel in this self-converted camper van. It's a 2017 Ford Transit, and I've been traveling in it with my girlfriend, Tori. But for the last week or so, we've also been traveling alongside our friends, Danielle and Gunnar. We have been having so much fun with them. Right now, we're camping beside this beautiful river in Colorado, and every single morning, we've been getting in and doing these cold water dips together, which has been so fun and refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the other side of the road there's this really cool climbing spot there's a beautiful view up there and we've had so much fun climbing outdoors Danielle and Gunnar live in a really cool ambulance, so I wanted to show it to you guys and give you a tour of their home because it's so different than mine and it's just filled with so many cool, special things that I never knew ambulances had. So let's go check it out. Hey, come on in. Welcome to the Anvil. This is our massive closet that is absolutely way too big for a van than it ever should be, but that's what we're working with. And then we have a safe up here in the top, which is really nice to keep all of our expensive things in. And then we work over here, and we have this little door that separates the cab to the front, or cab to the back. And over here is a whole bunch of extra storage, but we're gonna ignore that for now. This is our little kitchen area. We have a massive fridge here and <laughs> a full freezer which is super nice on hot days like today and up here we have a pantry some more food storage cooktop and a sink I forgot <laughs> so we're moving over to here we have our one counter space out of the whole van which really sucks uh, we have like pots and pans and plates down here and then up here we have a stupid amount of toiletries <laughs> there's just so much storage in this and then you fill it all up and realize that you have so much stuff um, over here we have like art supplies and Gunner's camera stuff and diesel heater. That kind of wraps it up for this area. Over here we have an indoor-outdoor shower, but as you can see it is mainly just used as storage. We almost never use the shower and that brings us to the bed. This is our futon style bed so it pulls out into like almost a double bed and right now it's in couch mode and seats a lot of people and then up on top of that we have just more storage. The only thing left to talk about inside is the ceiling which is this beautiful mural that I did myself and that wraps up the inside. It's so pretty. Was it hard yes. to do like without the ceiling? <laughs> I could imagine. Yeah. My dad's uncle had like a little tiny scaffolding we put in right here so I could like lay down and do it but like, even that so nice. Even that my arms, like I literally was doing some of it lefty because my right arm was so tired. I was just like, yeah, yeah I'm never going to paint the ceiling again. So Danielle showed you the back of the ambulance. I'm going to take you up to the cab as well as show you the outside. Let's go. Okay, so this is a Ford E450 cutaway van. It has a 7.3 liter V8 diesel powered engine and this is where we spend about 80% of our time just up here driving from spot to spot. Up here is pretty stock, pretty standard. It's got a whole bunch of ambulance buttons that don't really work anymore like strobe lights, sirens. None of this stuff works anymore. Um, you legally have to not make it do ambulance functions in order to um, get, it, get it RV ready. We've also tried to make it as homey as possible up here. We got a little bit of mushrooms. We got Danielle's uh, Ram up here, as well as just like little things for us to mess with while we're on long drives. We also have a backup monitor here because this thing is an absolute tank. So um, backing up with precision can be somewhat of a challenge sometimes. So we got a backup monitor to help us here. We actually have two. One doesn't work right now. So just in case we're there. That pretty much does it for the inside cab part here of the ambulance. I'm going to take you outside and we'll show you the rest of the ambulance. Let's go. We call this our large compartment. This is where we put all of our big outdoorsy stuff. We have snowboards in here, canopies, shovels, you name it, that's all on top here. And then right below is our battery bank. This is where all of our electrical problems come from. All right, moving down the van, we have what we call our water compartment. 
basically has all of our water in it. We have our hose for filling up. We have 25 gallons of fresh water right here and then two six gallon tanks to fill up. So we get about one and a half of these big gallons. We also have a tankless hot water heater right here that runs off our propane system, which also powers our stove that's inside. This next compartment, I know we have a lot of compartments. I think there's five total on the outside of the ambulance. This is what we call our garage. We have power, power tools, solar panels, diesel tank in here, we have our air conditioner, climbing stuff, you name it, it is in the garage. There we go. Um, this is our outside table. Sometimes we'll bring the grill out here and cook or we'll host out here and just have fun with friends. Another cool part about an ambulance is a lot of people build roof decks on their different conversions to stand up top, but the ambulance is so supportive that you don't even need a roof deck. It comes stock, you can just walk up here on top. We have four 100 watt solar panels that power our batteries downstairs. It is not the most crazy solar setup, but it definitely gets the job done. moved into a short bus first and then I was like well now I just have to one-up him so I got an ambulance <laughs> <laughs> I bought the ambulance off Facebook marketplace for $6,400 and then including that purchase price with the whole conversion and everything is probably a little bit over 10,000 to complete so I bought the ambulance in 2019 and then it took about a whole year to finish it because I just really wasn't concerned with doing it in a timely fashion so probably took like a full year yeah to cover it. Me and Danielle met she actually bought the ambulance before we met um, we met online actually I put out a video on TikTok saying I wanted to marry someone <laughs> <laughs> I want to marry someone from TikTok no, really. I'm going to fly me and you wherever you are out to Las Vegas where we will get married. I think people take life too seriously and I'm just here to prove that it ain't that deep. Life's a game. Let's break some news. And um, Danielle applied, I guess. That feels weird saying applied. <laughs> but we found each other through that video and then we took the ambulance down to Vegas and just got married after knowing each other for about a week. I had always been really interested in like doing van life and stuff like that. So when I saw that Danielle owned an ambulance, it was like a no-brainer that I, I felt like we were going to connect on some level and it ended up being my gateway into this lifestyle and I appreciate her every day for that. Something that I think was hard for us and that we've been experiencing recently is we've been feeling a little bit of burnout um, just feeling like a lack of community as well as like a lack of like home sometimes. And being stable. Yeah we've been traveling in places where there wasn't a lot of like free land so we're constantly having to move from parking lots to other parking lots but now that we're here in like Colorado area there's like free land and places that we feel like we can just exist sometimes let the breath out yeah. <laughs> I think that the best part about van life for us has been meeting cool people like Sarah and Tori here and traveling to new places that we probably might not have been able to like chill at if it wasn't for the van so I feel like it really has been like a vessel for opportunity for us I think another thing that van life has really taught me is that there's not really a right way to do something so even just like taking a shower, you know, they, like it's fine to go to the gym and take a shower. Like it's silly things like that you don't really think about before you're actually doing it. And that's fine, you know. If you want to see more from us, we are just Danielle and Gunnar everywhere that you can search. And we hope to see you there. Should we get in, Toy? Okay. Ah, oh, yeah. And then we can just close it out. Thanks for having me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye. Best people ever! <laughs> yeah, seriously, you have to follow them. They're amazing. <laughs>